Hey guys, welcome to Maker Tales. Today is actually a pretty simple video. I'm going to be making a very long dining table out of the scrap wood that we've got. So currently we have this set up. As you can see, it needs to be longer. So what I'm going to be using is two of these lid sections that I'm currently taking the edges off. And then I'm going to join them. And then I'm going to see if I can cut it in one go, all the edges, because I'm going to create a file where I'm going to cut these off with the laser to just make it, give it a nice rounded corners sort of feel. I'm going to have to take these off here as well, because if not, that's going to cause problems as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this on time lapse. You're going to see me sorting all that out, and then we're going to cut it. Then from a cut it, we'll put it together and see with the three supports that I've got if that's going to be enough for this. All right, so the wood is prepped. Now, this table currently measures 290 and this table here currently measures 390. That's a bit bigger than what Betty can take right now. So, plan is to make this as safe as possible to put into a laser. Sort out all these little metally spiky bits all around the edges. Create the file that's going to be the, desk, the table file. And the table file I think is going to be, well, the maximum that Betty can be, which I think is 3 meters 10. Something like that, I'll figure that exact out. I'm gonna go make the file now, then from making the file, I'll put it onto the table. I'm gonna get Danny to help me out with this because it's pretty big. And then once we do that, it's cutting time. So it's taken quite a long time to get to this point of the build. Danny currently is changing the lens for the first time. I'm training him up on the laser. And it's official, we have now put in the logo of our company into the table. Now it's gonna change the lens to go to the lens that's gonna cut it. And this is crazy. We have got this so precise, because underneath we have we have a few things, we've got, let me see if I can get you, see those nails? So we're going to be going in between those and there's also studs underneath, as in wooden studs, not metal studs. There's studs underneath that we're literally going right between that point and it's taken us about an hour to align it. So we're really frustrated if we knock it at all. But I think we're ready, we're ready for this. The piece of wood is so big that we have it supported outside of the table. I've cut a length of wood so it fits perfectly. We did try to have it all screwed together but being screwed together, it, it screwed up underneath because we had to add a little bit extra bit of wood. But now we're set to cut this. I'm guessing that it's going to be about a 20 minute cut because it's big, it's very, very big. Anyway, let's see the next part.
All right, guys, that's the end of this table. I have varnished it. It's looking really sweet. Looks really good. I need to let it dry before I can put it in there, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go chill out at home and then I'm gonna sort that out tomorrow. So I'm, it's gonna go in there finally. And then, yeah, that's it. That's how you make a giant table on a giant laser cutter for lots of people to eat. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for watching and let the quest continue.